I'm not even going to lie. I can't let a woman jump back in my life after she left the relationship for some dumb reason. I can't do it. Seriously, this woman ended a two-year relationship with me because she felt the new guy she just met was doing better than me. And her exact words was, he understood the kind of lifestyle I wanted to live. Now, fast forward five years, you've now got two kids by him. Turns out all the cash he was flashing, mm. that was credit card. He didn't have no prospects, no jobs, mm. nothing. And on top of that, turns out he's got another kid on the way by a different woman. I find it so interesting right now that this woman now wants to catch up and pick up where we left off. But when I said no, that I'm not interested, all of a sudden, apparently I'm childish and I'm being immature because I'm holding a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> man all right guys check this out <clears throat> look man we must never we must never go back never go back to an ex um i get i tell guys this all the time any dating coach or any youtube guy that you listen to for advice on this type of stuff if he's giving you a book or a seminar or a workshop on how to get your ex back i don't have any faith in those guys i honestly believe that those guys they really don't know what they're talking about you understand and no disrespect but i just believe that it's a part of the game to move forward bro it's a part of the game to continue your development as a man it's a part of your game to never go back like never going back is a major rule like once 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 we break up you understand it makes no sense going back and and believe me i've been there i've gone back i've tried again and again and again you understand with the same woman and so on and so forth you understand i've, I've been in eight an 18 year relationship off and on so i know exactly what i'm talking about i'm telling you this from experience you should never go back she's your ex for a reason you understand? See, a woman has her season and that season teaches you exactly what you need to learn from that relationship and from that woman. But after that season is over, the lesson is over. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to develop. You're supposed to develop your masculine identity to, because, see, developing your masculine identity has nothing to do with the women. You understand? So this is exactly why you never need to go back to a previous ex or to a previous relationship. You absolutely never need to go back. But what you need to do is you need to learn from it. You understand? You need to take from the experiences and use that to develop your masculine identity, to enrich your overall knowledge of yourself and your knowledge of how you show up in relationships. You understand? So the thing is, leaving is mandatory because the development of your masculine identity has nothing to do with women or any one woman in particular. You understand? You have to use your growth and Use it to move forward to make you a better man. Use the knowledge, use the experience, right? Because from experience comes wisdom. And when you have that wisdom about the game and, and you see how things work and you see how things happen, you can take that with you as a lesson. See, that's why as men, when you truly have a certain understanding of the game, we're not supposed to get angry with women. We're not supposed to be resentful of women. We're not supposed to be mad at a chick for leaving us for the other guy and all of this stuff. Like, it's not about that. What it's about, it's about learning. You understand? It's about development. All right. So the thing is, we take what we learn and we add it to our toolbox to be a better man for ourselves and to be a better man for a more compatible and deserving woman. You understand? So the disappointment and the possible frustration and the challenges that we overcame from being with that previous woman, guess what? It makes us stronger. It gives us thicker skin and it, and it gives us a certain peace and calm. So when we're dealing with that new woman and we're giving her instruction, we do this from a place of having already gone through the bullshit. You understand? So when we, when we look that woman dead in her eye and we tell her, listen, this is my program and this is how it's going to go. Either you're with me or you're not. You understand when you look at her and you say that and you have that level of experience and wisdom about your character, she believes you, bro. You understand? Like she understands that she's not dealing with a, a dude that doesn't know what he's talking about. Right. She's dealing with a guy that has been through it. She's dealing with a guy that knows the rhythm and cadences of, her, of a relationship and how women operate. Not to say that you're using past experiences to judge her, but you're using past experiences to understand the best way to deal with situations when similar and familiar situations come up with different women. Another reason why you cannot allow that woman back into your life, especially not in the 
same capacity. Because notice he said the woman wanted to pick up where they left off. Like, see, the thing that, you know, the thing is that if, if you if you truly a player like you got F buddies, you got rosters and stuff like that. There are certain situations where you can allow a woman back into your life, but she cannot come back into your life in the same capacity. Do you understand? So if she was your full fledged girl or something like that, if she really wants to be back in your life, she could come back in your life, but in a different capacity, right? So she could be a business partner. If you know, if you know that you can make some money with her, she could be a F buddy. You understand? Or she could be just a networking resource because you know, you look, she, she knows people and your business requires this, that, and the third, and she knows how to get in contact with those people. So you can bring her back in your life, but it cannot be in the same capacity. Right. And the thing is bringing her, her back into your life in the same capacity is also doing her a disservice. You understand? Because she won't learn how to have a grateful attitude for a man with a healthy masculine identity and a man with leadership qualities. You understand? When when you allow that woman to come back into your life in the same capacity, right? When you allow her to pick back up where you left off, so to speak, what you're doing is you're you're not giving her an opportunity to have a full experience of what it is to live without you and then learn through the consequences of her action, what she's missing. She never gets to understand the consequence of having something good and throwing it away. Because if she feels like she can just pick it back up anytime, then she's not going to have, she's, she's really not going to have any appreciation for it. You understand? And so if you get back with her, she's going to fall back into her same characteristics. And if even when you, you know, get back with her and allow her, what happens is you're not allowing her to be, to develop into a better woman for another man. You understand? So when you leave her alone, what you do is you allow her to reflect. You allow her to have that time without you to say, damn, like, it turns out that he was a really good guy. Like time, time has shown me that I, I couldn't really get much better than him. So now she may, if she's lucky enough to find another dude that has a quality leadership attitude, then good for her. But if not, she's going to have to do her best to find something that's close to it. Right. But here's the thing because of her experience and because of her wisdom, she will appreciate it more. She will understand how to be humble and she will understand how to appreciate you understand? She will understand gratitude and that in itself will make her a better woman. So you're actually doing her a favor by not allowing her to come back into your life. And like I said, especially not in the exact same capacity as before. One more thing I wanted to address about this video is the part where he said that the woman said that um, this man understood the type of life that she wanted for herself. See, here's the thing. When a woman wants a certain lifestyle and she wants to be in charge of her lifestyle choice, that woman is better off being alone. You understand? Once a woman attaches herself to a man in any capacity, like a relationship as such, that woman has to understand that her lifestyle choice is based on the choice that she's made in that man. You understand? So because a man loves as God loves, right? Because a man is a builder, a creator, because a man has to create structure, he has to dictate the lifestyle of the woman based on the love that he has for himself. This is why we talk about masculine identity. This is why we talk about being a bad boy, like the bad boy membership. This is why we talk about putting yourself first and designing a quality life for yourself and living in honesty and and righteousness based on your identity so you can attract the right female because what you're trying to do is you're trying to live a quality lifestyle to attract a certain type of female that sees your vision and wants to support that vision and be an asset to the journey of of that vision that's what you're really looking for that's the true compatibility but once you find a woman that wants to dictate her choices of lifestyle, that woman doesn't need a man. That woman can totally be by herself. She could be a diva, a boss bitch, a career woman, whatever she wants to do, let her do that. Once she starts to try to dictate the lifestyle or try to try to, you know, have a say in the design of her lifestyle, that woman needs to be alone because here it is. A woman must be instructed on the best lifestyle for her by a man who is a leader and has her best interest at heart. You understand? A woman cannot decide for herself what is the best lifestyle because it's the nature of a woman to survive based on the structure that is created by the man that she chooses to lead her. 
Do you understand? So if she's trying to lead the situation, if she's trying to make all these choices, if she thinks that she knows the best lifestyle for herself and all of this and all of that, let her be by herself. She doesn't need a man. Do you understand? A real woman, a real feminine woman is the type of woman who understands that her lifestyle is a product of the man that she chooses because she understands that the man that she chooses is a leader, is a king, is basically the closest thing to God because he creates structure, he provides, he watches over her, he protects her, he's willing to lay down his life for her, he leads, he makes these decisions, and he's always trying to be the highest version of himself. He's literally God on earth. He's a God, he is a creator, and he's creating his own heaven. Do you understand? And if she wants to be a part of his heaven, she has to understand his leadership and she has to want to be a part of his leadership. And that's why he said, you know, he he repeated it word for word. He said, yo, she actually said this word for word. She she said that he understood the type of lifestyle that she wanted. As soon as a woman starts to talk about what she wants, she doesn't fully understand her place as a woman and she doesn't fully deserve a healthy leader in her life, right? She needs to just be by herself and and figure it out for herself because that's what she wants to do. Because honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. You understand? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but there's no place for a man or a leader in the life of that type of woman. You understand what I'm saying? So you don't ever need to get back with your ex. Once a woman is in the, the good grace of God, right? And then she falls out of that grace. There's no real place for her to come back. It's kind of like how Adam and Eve got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. God never allowed them back into the Garden of Eden. God allowed them to roam the rest of the earth and figure things out for themselves because that is a part of the development of the identity. You get what I'm saying? So as a man, you have to leave her. You understand? She's an ex for a reason. You have to leave her. Take from it what you will. Take from the experience and understand the wisdom and, and, and the lessons learned and use it to make you the best man that you could be. And also you leave her alone because you want her to be a better woman for any man that she's lucky enough to attract later on in life. All right. So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. I hope you got something from this video, a quality lifestyle and recognize our value so we can attract the right people and the right women in our lives. All right. So it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you're having a great day. Be good to yourself. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.